this is I from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I'm so excited to have you in the studio today. Today, I want to tell you something. Before we get into the video, I want to tell you about something special that I'm doing during the week. So during the week, I'm doing coaching sessions. But guess what, guys? I started group-style coaching sessions. I did it just to make it way more affordable for you guys. I still do the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, but I wanted to do something to where so we can get a few candle makers at one time. We can all share ideas. We can go over our vision. We can go over the wicks. Um, it's so much that we can cover within this hour, guys. And everybody get a chance to ask questions. Everybody get a chance to just, you know, talk about the things that they want to do in their business. And we go over branding. You know, I give you guys tips and tricks on how to sell your uh, your, your, your candles. And um, it's just so much we do. Wax suggestions. You need to make sure you go in the description box today and book this session. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this. Start your year off right. If you're going to start this year off as a candle maker, you want to start it off the best way. And that is just getting advice. And that way you can go ahead and launch and be the best that you can be. Also, if you're struggling with Wix, and I know there are so many people who is watching this right now and saying, Oh my God, I'm struggling with Wix. I cannot get these things right. I never can get a perfect candle. I've been trying for over a year. I've been trying for a couple months. I've just been trying. I done bought a kit. I done did this. I done did that. Guys, stop testing and book yourself an appointment this appointment will take place this friday normally it's on saturdays we have wick training sessions wick training sessions let me tell you a little bit about wick training sessions so basically what we do is we go over the wick i teach you guys the way i teach you how to properly wick a candle what to do why are you having black smoke why is it mushrooming what goes what don't go what kind of wax to order what kind of wax not to order what kind of wicks go with this wax all of these things is what we cover in these sessions okay so the coaching sessions and then we have the wick training sessions so guys all of that is in the description box you want to make sure that you book that because this will help you go out and bear much fruit guys okay you don't want to be fruitless you don't want to be out there just making candles and you're like oh i hope it burn right or oh i hope i can get a hot throw you know oh it smells good cold but i don't smell it when it start burning i'm just gonna sell it anyway you know don't be one of those people so guys look i have been going over branding on this stage on this channel branding yes branding your candles um coming up with a line today we are going to do a paint can line guys i know i know i know i know i know I know listen to me I know it looks strange you're like what are we gonna do with these paint cans when I am finished with these paint cans you will see what we're gonna do okay so I got that um I got the paint cans I got the mini paint cans right here oh my god these are just so adorable I could not leave these behind these are so adorable I have the tops for them um I also have these paint can oh it's a staple in there paint can openers I have a box of paint can openers I will put a link in the description box where you can go ahead and order you some paint can openers so you can sell those along with the candle because that just make it look just so cool whereas though you sending it to them and it look like a can of paint but it's just so dressed up it's cute it got some good fragrance and they open it up and they're up there burning this candle and they got an opener along with it guys I'm telling you these are the things that will enhance your line and bring it to a place of oh my god this looks good so look what I further ado uh today i'm probably gonna be using uh well you know what i already wicked these so i'm gonna be using a two inch diameter wick and if you don't know what a two inch diameter wick is you need to go ahead and book yourself a session okay in the description box it is the wick training session i will not no longer give out number wicks on the state on the channel because of the simple fact that i can give out the number wick but guess what i don't know what kind of wax you're using so a two inch diameter may work for me but you may need something lower you know, or you may need something higher. So it doesn't make sense. And I don't want to misguide people because I have people come to me like, I follow what you tell me to do, but what kind of wax did you have, baby? Did you use IGI 6006 like me? Because if you didn't, you won't yield the same results. So I just wanted to make you guys very aware of that I'm not to blame. Do not blame me. We do not use the same type of wax. And it's all about your wax, okay? Your wax, your fragrance, your color, all of that makes a big, 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 big difference on how your candle will burn. So I will be using Forever Red type. I do not want to use like dessert, 
fragrances today because I'm like, this is going to be something really classy, okay? So we're going to use Forever Red type. I'm going to use um, Pipe Tobacco. Well, it's called Santa's Pipe. I'm going to call it Pipe Tobacco. I'm going to use that. This is by Indigo. That one was by Jessen. And um, I'm going to be using like a floral fragrance. Maybe Cozy Cabin or Cashmere. I'm going to use Cashmere. Cashmere and Vanilla. Let me see if I have some vanilla in my sight. I have cashmere and maybe the taco just maybe the tobacco can have like a warm vanilla sugar mixed in it just to kind of dumb that scent down. Okay guys, I'm so ready and I'm so excited about this. Let's go ahead and get in the studio. We're gonna start pouring these candles. We're gonna go over some good things today. We're gonna go over pouring temperatures. We're gonna go over um you know what to do to not get holes in your candle. We're gonna go we're gonna go over uh just, I mean, we're actually just really going to make this candle. I'm going to take you through every bit of it, every step, because I realize there are a lot of people who have never made a candle before. So I want to make sure I go over every step, guys. All right, see you in the studio. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just can't go in the studio like that. Wait a minute, 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 Okay guys, I'm using my lovely Presto Pot, which you can get at Walmart. You do not have to have a spout on it. I do have one with a spout. I really don't use it like that. I use this one more than the one with the spout. Make sure you just have a Presto Pot in a pouring pitcher. Yes, 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 yes. That way you can transfer the wax into the pouring pitcher and it makes candle making easy breezy. All right, so now we are at 167. I'm at 167. It's going from 167, 68. It is just going down, down, up, down. It's just playing games, okay? But that's what we do. We monitor our temperature and make sure that you are melting the wax and you're not scorching the wax on the bottom so don't start it out at 200 you know when you get your presto pot you'll know exactly what i'm saying just keep it on warm and you know make sure that you keep it right there at warm so everything can just kind of melt down together and you don't scorch one part of the wax that is very important you do not want to scorch it because then you'll mess with the wax and i don't believe that you'll achieve a very good hot throw once you scorch the wax so I try to not go over a certain number when it comes like if I oh if I if I say I overheated my wax, then that means that I probably let it go up to like 220 or something like that. Now to me that's overheating and scorching. So if it gets that hot, I really won't even use it. So pay attention. Okay. So we're just gonna let this go ahead and melt down. This is gonna be the most easiest candles that you have seen me make in a long time. I just wanted to go through the whole process because a lot of people said they wanted to have like a class, like a basic candle making class. So I figured what more better to do than you know just have it with these paint cans. And you know, this is this is really simple. Alright. I decided to use this winter wishes. <laughs> I got this from Rustic Essentials. I'm going to use about 8.9% um, and this is 23 ounces so I'm going to use like 2.4 or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in here and my temperature is about, well my temperature right now is about 181 so I really don't want to pour this hot so I'm going to wait till it comes down to about 170 or something like that and then I'm going to add my fragrance because I really like to add my fragrance when the temperature is a little bit lower not too low like not really cloudy but I like to bring it down a little bit more okay so I use about a good 5.1 but I actually want more in here. Okay, so when I filled this all the way up, it came to about 7.1 ounces. So you can use seven ounces inside of here just to have an accurate weight. Okay, now I don't wanna fill this all the way up. That's not really what I'm wanting to do because I had to put the top on here. So I'm gonna take a little bit out of here. Probably gonna have to clean it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Seven point one. Seven point one is perfect. And 
remember I'm not overflowing these vessels like I know exactly where to stop at. I'm stopping right at the rim but I want to make sure I fill them up all the way. I don't want to just cheat people. <laughs> Now, I'm going to the smaller vessels. Now, let me get an accurate weight on these little ones just so I can let you guys know. Now, I did get these little vessels off of um, Uline. Oh, Lord, I done messed the week up. I'm definitely going to have to heat gun this one. <laughs> just let it be. Uh, yeah, I got these off of Uline. So, these ones are about a good 3.4 ounces of wax. So, 3.4 ounces of wax. So I'm going to just take this little bit of wax that I have, just fill these up. And this is the Winter Wishes by Rustic Essentials and it really smells good. It smells amazing. But I'm not going to name it Winter Wishes. I'm going to name it something else. Definitely not Winter Wishes. But I'm going to look and see if that is the name that I would like to keep because I don't want it to be summertime. And I use this fragrance because it smells so amazing and people are like, um, well, I really don't want a winter. You know, I'm going to just go ahead and get the scent notes and probably come up with a name based on the scent notes. So, I don't have quite enough to fill up this last vessel. So, I'm just going around and pouring into each vessel the excess wax that's left. Alright? Alright, so, now this is it. I'm finished with these vessels. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave the wicks the way they are. And when it's done solidifying, I'm going to drag my wicks to the middle, take a heat gun, and smooth it out. The reason why I'm doing that is because I cannot find all of my wick holding things. So I'm going to do it that way. And that is not a good way. Do not do that. Just get you some popsicle sticks with holes in it off of Amazon or whatever you have to do. I think these came off Amazon too. And that way you won't have the heat gun. Because once you use the heat gun on the top, it does mess with the hot throw on that first layer. And the first layer is always the important layer. Why is the first layer important? The first layer is important because that is what people are going to smell when they first start burning the candle. So you don't want to alter anything concerning the hot throw. So make sure you just do it the right way. But if it's an emergency, in a case of an emergency, you can do that. So I'm going to let these solidify and I'm going to put labels on them, guys. Now listen, the labels will be in the description box I have like a Canva a class where you can take and you can learn how to make these labels on your own because you're going to really love the labels that I'm going to put on them this is the end of the video go ahead and hit the subscription button like subscribe and I will see you back again on this channel for the next video all right